Hello, and welcome to my crazy art life. Um, for my first video, I thought I would do a review on a couple of products, mainly on one product. Um, and that product is the Create a Color Aqua Brick. I was curious to see if this was um, a good gouache in a pan form. I know a lot of you have the Karen Dosh um, set, so I wanted to check it out. I don't have that set. I've been trying to get my hands on it, but um, hopefully in the future I can do a comparison of the two and see how they both compare, but for this one, uh, let's go ahead and open it. It's a tin color compartment. The lid is attached and is white, so that's great. You can use it for mixing. In this, we have um, we have some papers. This one just gives you some information about the company. I opened this earlier and found it was very difficult to find the English section. So I sat it here to where it would be easier. Um, however, let me take a look real quick. <clears throat> Okay, it just says, in addition to paper, the colors adhere to almost any ground. Plexiglass, canvas, cardboard, wood, plaster, concrete, styrofoam, etc. Please note, prior treatment of the material is indispensable. Sanding, application of adhesive primer, or similar. The colors will last on a permanent basis if they are fixed with transparent acrylic varnish. The colors can be washed off slightly, sanded or smooth surface canvas without any residues. Please note this is not possible with absorptive materials such as wood, etc. Okay, um, let's see what else they have to say. As the colors are per perfectly water soluble, they can be removed at any time, which is always for spectacular effects, which is also, which also all allows for spectacular effects. Aqua brick colors can be easily washed out of garments too. Well, that's nice. I am a messy painter. <laughs> Let's see, we recommend try out Aqua Brick for yourself, experiment with these colors, and let us know which additional techniques you have discovered. We look forward to hearing from you. And there are a couple of things that they've worked on. Okay, um, so let's see what the rest of this is. It's talking about the sponge in here in this one when I read it. Basically, you just um, wet it. It expands and you can use it for uh, making different effects on your paper or just using it to clean off your brush. Um, it does say to clean it. You just clean it with warm water and you have to let it to air dry. Do not put it in an enclosed container. So let's go ahead and open these up and see what's going on with them. Get us a little knife here. Let's make things a little easier. Oh, they come right out. I did see on a couple of reviews that I watched people taking those out and drawing with them like colors. Um, I don't know that I would think that would be a hugely great success, but we will give it a shot and see what we come up with. So on the outside, they feel a lot like crayons. Uh, if you were to hold a crayon in your hand, that's what the texture of them feel like. There are no color names listed. And let's check the back here. We do have some color numbers listed on the back. And they are non-toxic. Eco Energy. They're made in Australia. 
solid blocks of watercolor pigment, pigment for drawing and painting, higher quality pigments for smooth color laydown, crayon, uh, aquarelle, gouache, and airbrush. I guess those are the uses. For use in classic watercolor, sketching and drawing, scraffito, blending, rubbing, and monoprint. Okay, well, uh, let's take a look at them. We'll try a couple of different uses. Uh, the other thing that I was trying out was the um, the fountain pen by Jane Davenport. And I wanted to see how it performed as far as possibly using it for ink drawings. But this would not be a good idea because when I was practicing just scratching uh, a drawing down, this is by no means a finished drawing, just a quick sketch doodle of um, a fish, but it does not, um, does not give you much variation in line as the point is very fine. It's more for writing, not necessarily even doing uh, beautiful pen writing, but just writing in general. Um, so as you see here, it's it's really has no definition whatsoever. It does say that it is water soluble, and you can see there with my finger that it just wipes right off. So definitely would not be good for pen and ink drawing. Uh, if anyone had any questions about that, now we know. And you also know that even if you change the ink out to something more permanent, you would not get any definition of line. So not a good idea for that. Maybe good use for journaling, but that's that's that. So let's move on to swatching these and seeing what we come up with. I have some water on the side. I have two jars of water, one for clean water and one for cleaning my brush, so no crossover. Let's just swatch each one individually and we'll do them right here. First one it has a beautiful color lay down. Very nice. Wonder what it's going to dry like if it will be very um, matte and chalky or how it will look. I guess we will see. Beautiful vibrancy. That's one thing I just, I don't know that I really care for watercolor because of that. I've been trying my best to get into water, watercolor. However, I really miss all the vibrancy of color that I'm used to with acrylic. So I was hoping something like this would be a good option for me to be a good easy travel kind of a companion. Uh, and so far so good. I'm really hoping that's the case. It is a little bit streaky uh, right off the bat, so it may take some finesse and some wiggling to work it. I am really wanting that Karen Dash set so I can do a great comparison, and it has so many more colors that I think it would be much more advantageous for what I'm looking for. However, uh, this Create a Color is a nice small size, so that is something to consider. This color is very sheer. I didn't expect that at all. Alright. Oh, I missed a couple of them there. Didn't do this one here. Let's get it. Ooh, nothing like the pan. I mean, seriously. This is the block I'm using. That is nothing like it. I did not expect that. Let's see if we draw on it. Would it give us? No, it just gets darker, but it's not a, hmm, interesting. That one's good and vibrant. Oh, I love that color. Color can just make your heart sing, can it? 
I don't know what it is. There's just something about it that just makes you so happy. Or sad, depending on the color and the, the mood that it portrays. Oh, nice, vibrant black. Deep black. Good, good. I know watercolors don't really typically use black and white that much. However, in acrylic, we use it for almost everything. And I'm hoping to use these more in that form and less in a watery form. So this is the white. I don't think that it's going to show, but maybe with it being wet, we'll be able to catch it. Looks like we're catching it pretty good on film there. All right, wonderful. Well, let's let those dry. That one really is perplexing me there. Um, let's try wetting it and going over it one more time. I don't know. I just something about that just is not setting good. Okay, well, that's getting a little better. So maybe with layering, it will be a very usable color. I don't. I don't know. It's just really 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 sheer and splotchy you just can't seem to smooth it out so um let's let these dry and we will see how they do when we come back all right hold on <laughs> 